guys, today I'm going to talk about taking toddlers on public transport. So this is something quite dear to my heart because I do it a lot. Jack and I go out and about all the time. And so yeah, I just feel like I've learned a fair bit about the experience. These are tips that could apply for any long journey, but in my situation, I'm just taking public transport a lot. So they are more skewed towards public transport, but I suppose they could also apply for long car journeys and things like that. So I've got 10 tips about how to, I don't want to say the word survive, but you know what I mean. Books are amazing because you can really take your time with them. The little one can sit on your lap or in the buggy and you can just leaf through a book. And yeah, I just find personally that of all the toys, books are perfect for public transport. So take loads. Probably, I suppose, healthy snacks. I mean, that's what I try and do. So raisins. Raisins are also really good because you can count them out one by one. And they take quite a long time to eat. I also like to bring rice cakes. But just generally, food on public transport really works well. Obviously, this only applies if you're on a bus. But um, it's great to sit by the window and look outside and point at all the people walking past and all the cars and all the buildings and all the parks. Jack and I spend a long time people watching out of bus windows. They are, I find, the best distraction. So when someone comes up and they kind of start talking and interacting with Jack, I'm always like, yes. Um, so yeah, use other people, engage other people, don't be afraid to let them talk and play with your little one because yeah, at the end of the day, that's a really big help. We've got two buggies actually. One, we've got the Bugaboo, um, which I find still really quite light. We've got an even lighter one for traveling, which is one of the Chico ones, and I always take that when we are using public transport because it's just way lighter, way easier to maneuver. This took me a while to overcome, I guess, and I spent so much time just waiting at the bottom of stairs, um, hopelessly just kind of staring as people walk past. If you don't have help, you physically cannot get around a lot of the spots in London. There are a good few tube stations that have lifts, but um, there's also loads that don't, and you really need another pair of hands, so don't be afraid to ask. I tend to now just grab the first person that walks past, because I find the longer you leave it, the harder it gets, and it's kind of building up, building up, so I literally will ask the first person that comes along, and the thing is, everyone is always so nice. Everyone always just, once you ask them, no one's ever said, uh, no. But people don't necessarily always offer, but once you ask, they're always really helpful. People can get a little bit frustrated with you if you travel at a certain times. So don't travel at rush hour. I've done this once or twice, and I've ended up absolutely rammed in a station and it was really, really unpleasant. No one cared, no one was letting me through. Jack was really not very happy. And yeah, it was not a good idea. I didn't think it through properly at all. My experience, long journeys on public transport, on buses or tubes are just really difficult and I now try and avoid them. So I don't like going on public transport if it's gonna be maybe more than half an hour. Um, because in my experience I've just found that anything longer is really, really hard. So yeah, just try and limit your journey length. It normally would take half an hour. When you've got the little one, just, I usually double that. You want to be relaxed, there is nothing worse than racing along with a buggy, panicking about missing a bus. not going to be the most straightforward procedure. It will probably be quite fun. Probably feel pretty exhausted. It's just a great way actually for him to learn, I find. He looks out the window, as I said. He engages with people, do a bit of reading. Obviously, there are challenges, hence why I'm making this video. And also, at the end of the day, I don't think having a baby should stop you going on public transport. So don't shy away from it. Thanks for watching guys, um, it was a really short video but I just wanted to share my experience. Hope you liked it, give me a thumbs up if you did, subscribe to my channel, oh no, so actually somewhere down there, and I'll see you next time, thanks, bye.